pushing back on Governor Newsom and they're basically saying, hey, no dining outdoors. Uh, so they're trying to push everything to, to go and delivery, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, we're seeing that same effect uh, across the country with certain governors. And I think just in general, the restaurant industry has been an unfair. It's been they've been unfairly targeted. I mean, we're really the scapegoats here when I think it comes to trying to s control this virus. Um, um, so I've been very outspoken about the arbitrary nature by which some of these policies are put in place, specifically the ban on outdoor dining. And for months, we understood that this virus was diluted in the outdoors. Get outside, get outdoors, et cetera, et cetera. And now we're being told we have to shut down, which is only going to force people indoors, whereby the, the virus itself can replicate. Right. So uh, Secretary of Health, I believe, for California, I pull a quote uh, from him from an article. He said, the decision to include outdoor dining and limiting that, turning to restaurants to, to deliver and provide takeout options instead, really has to do with the goal of trying to keep people at home. So like you said, there's really no scientific basis that it spreads the virus more. It's really just to keep people at home. But then the question is, well, all right, people are congregating in, in malls and Target and Walmart and, and on planes. W where do you draw the line? Exactly. And why does the government get to choose where the line is drawn um, without any science to back that, you know, that scribble, if you will? You know, if, if the goal is to keep people at home, then we should all be told to stay home and we should be written checks individually, not through agencies, not through businesses. We should all get checks to stay home and see the effect that it has across all coronavirus cases, cases nationwide or statewide. But they'll never do that. Right. Because they understand that they can't by virtue of the special interests, the lobbyists, the relationships they have with a lot of these big corporations. And I think it's all laying bare right now. For sure. And I can't remember the name of the uh, the restaurant, but I think it's out there near you in L.A. And the lady who had the, the outdoor dining, I assume you guys spend much money on outdoor dining stuff, too, which maybe we can talk about. But she spent much money on outdoor dining, had her patio set up, and then Lily, she couldn't do that. But then right next door to her, there was a, a movie production with a catering set up. It looked identical almost. Yeah. And look, you know, tragedy, what happened to her. But I'm also glad that she was able to uh, visualize the hypocrisy for the rest of America in such a real specific and concise manner. Because, yes, the entertainment can continue. Entertainment industry can, of course, continue to operate because, look, Los Angeles, we all know this, Hollywood, Los Angeles, they are beholden to the entertainment industry. So they can continue to operate. They can break all of their own rules. And yet us restaurants are shut down. So it doesn't work that way. Right. Viruses aren't able to discriminate based upon industries, based upon time of the day. I mean, this thing is an out of control virus. And that's one thing that everybody can agree upon. You know, the effect and the groups that it targets. I'm not an epidemiologist, but I can at least understand and recognize that, you know, that we, we can't be selective with the ways in which we manage this.